Okay, really quickly, we have this uh, B flat position here, pentatonic minor. <laughs> pentatonic major in this area if we modify what we're doing on the first two strings here instead of playing one and four with finger one on the first string being the, the B flat the root note we can use fingers one and three and that gives us the major pentatonic sound we can use our bending note in there with the third finger on the first string and a half bend and we'll be looking at that exploiting that how to use that when the changes go from one to four so really quickly here's what we're looking at uh, when it's the one chord you've seen already this little lick that uses this pentatonic major note in it uh, third of the chord actually and that works great when it's the one chord we go to the four chord we can restate the idea and change just that one note to a half step lower and that is the flat three and that's from pentatonic minor and of course it's one of the notes in our four chord that's the seventh so it fits and sounds very good so if we want to do that on the first two strings, here's a little lick you can use to do that. Take this, which is the fourth finger, we're using pentatonic major here, right, on the first string, and the fourth finger on the second string for the one chord. So it changes to the four chord, we're just going to change the note on the second string to finger three. going to fit that chord very nicely, being the third of the chord. So that's how to cover quickly the one and the four, very subtly changing just one note in your line, which allows you to be more melodic. Uh, you're restating uh, an idea, so there's a repetition and you have the stepwise motion of the line, which also is a, a very important feature of what a melody is. And when you're soloing, you're always, ideally, creating a melody.